Professor scrutinized Adele's papers so intently that Adele felt as if she was in a nightmare. Her father's life and reputation were put at risk. Adele may be on the verge of failure, because the professor suspects something is amiss with Edward Black's credentials. What will happen next? Will Adele's secret be discovered, forcing her to return home defeated? Or will her resourcefulness help her get accepted into the university? Well, let's keep going to find out. Adele's plans were hanging by a thread, and only a miracle could save her. Luckily, the professor got distracted before he found anything wrong. Adele was accepted and assigned her own dorm. Relieved, she hurried to it. It's you from the exam. I'm your neighbor across the hall. Can I borrow some violet ink, please? Thanks. Now I'll be able to finish my essay.
After settling in, Adele informed her father via a short letter that she was accepted to the School of Etiquette. She could finally focus on her real studies at the university. University grounds were vast, but Adele quickly memorized every inch of them. She truly felt like she belonged there. Adele's efforts as a student were soon noticed by all the professors. One day, she was assigned real research with an unexpected partner. Research partners, huh? If you need the materials, they're in that old book. But be careful, the pages are loose. Students, if you see the register book, please bring it to me. Thank you. You can take out any book, even from the professor's section, as a reward. Quite skilled. I'm glad we'll be working together. Adele was worried Johan might discover her secret if he stayed her research partner, but she kept studying anyway.
Adele spent all the time she could in the library, and Johan turned out to be a lot of help. One day, lost in her thoughts, Adele was walking through the university grounds when she encountered two familiar gentlemen. Unfortunately, the older students are already using all the school microscopes. What do you suggest? We can split the cost and buy one for ourselves. I suppose I'll need to find a job then. Edward, I wanted to give you some research materials, but I lost the key for the office. Can you help me find it? Thank you. And don't forget, you'll need a microscope for your research. So you two had better get your own. And fast. But they're so expensive. Needing her own expensive microscope was bad news for Adele. Even with Johan splitting the cost, the sum was too much for her. To get the money, Adele searched for a job. Luckily, the herbalist shop in town needed an assistant. Adele worked hard to earn money for the microscope, but an unexpected visit from her father almost ruined her plans. Adele, are you helping here? 
That's wonderful. I just stopped by to get my order before visiting you at the School of Etiquette. Thank you. How do you like the school? I noticed you changed your hairstyle. It looks very elegant. I cover it because it's more ladylike. The school is excellent. Don't worry about me. I'll be home soon. The young girl was sad after her sick father's visit. She felt bad for lying to him, even for his own sake. But her difficult job at the shop quickly paid off. Soon, Adele managed to gather her part of the money. Johan contributed his part as promised, and Adele went to retrieve their order. Adele found the shop street in complete disarray, and one very stressed owner stood out front. I remember you coming to my shop before the exams. Congratulations on being accepted. I'm in the middle of reorganizing my shop. I need to find the broom first. Now I can clean up, and here's your microscope. It's the newest model.
Getting a microscope allowed Adele and Johan to continue their research. was going well, but Adele needed some supplies. She couldn't find the herbs she needed in the capital. One day, the professor asked Adele to come to the university greenhouse. Edward, I need to speak with you. But first, have you seen my scissors? for the two of you the chance to take a mountain field trip. There are many unresearched herbs there for you to examine. That sounds interesting and would be really helpful, Professor. Funded field trip was just what Adele needed. She couldn't hide her excitement.
Adele received her ticket and hurried to the station the next day. Johan was already waiting for her at the station and looked worried. Edward, I need your help. A gust of wind snatched the ticket right out of my hands. I can't find it. Thank you. You know, my father wanted me to join the army and then get married, but I chose to pursue science. I understand. I'm in a similar situation myself. Adele traveled across the countryside with Johan, who had become a close friend. She had never traveled that far before, and it was an exciting adventure. The mountain village charmed Adele, though she noticed a tense atmosphere among the villagers. Edward, can you help me tether the horse so it doesn't run away? Good day. I'm the head of this village, and who might you young men be? Students from the university? Welcome. I'll show you around, but uh, where's my red scarf?
I always wanted to live in the countryside with my future wife, working together. It's a shame women aren't interested in sciences, don't you think, Edward? Let me tell you the legends of our area. Mountain legends? Sounds fascinating. The villagers treated the young students well as they talked to locals and gathered stories about mountain folklore. Adele couldn't sleep that night after hearing so many frightening tales. The next morning, she and Johan headed to the mountain military camp.
Adele felt uncomfortable as they entered the army camp, so she was grateful to have Johan by her side. Good morning, students. The head of the village asked me to help you, but I've lost the map with the safe roads marked in this mess. give you a permission pass to go beyond the patrols. Don't stray away from the paths. There are rumors of mountain bandits lurking around. Understood, officer. The officer's warning didn't scare Adele. Using the map he provided, she and Johan started their hike. 